The Brahmos missile is one of the deadliest weapons in the arsenal of the Indian armed forces. Living up to its expectations, the missile made an explosive combat debut in the past few days. Let us try to explore a few more things about this missile. The Brahmos missile is a joint project between India and Russia. In 1995, India's DRDO and Russia's NPO Mashinostroyenye formed a joint venture by the name of Brahmos Aerospace. India owns about 50.5% in this joint venture whereas Russia owns 49.5%. In 2001, the first successful test of the Brahmos missile was carried out. The name Brahmos is a portmanteau formed from the names of two rivers. First of which is the Brahmaputra River and the other is Russia's Moskva River. All three branches of the Indian armed forces have one or the other variant of the Brahmos missile. It can be launched from a ship at other ships or at targets based on land. It can be launched from the Sukhoi Su-30. It can be launched from a transporter erector launcher from land as well. Besides, it can also be fired from submarines. The missile can fly at 15,000 meters or if need be even 5 meters, which is called sea skimming. The land and ship based variants are said to have a range of 290 kilometers. but some of the newer versions can go as far as 450 to 500 kilometers whereas some of the newest versions under development are set to go as far as 800 kilometers as well the air launched versions launched from the sukhoi 30 have an operational range of 450 to 500 kilometers this missile is 8.4 meters or 28 feet long and it weighs about 3000 kilograms but the air launched version which is the brahmos a is a little lighter at 2500 kilograms the brahmos missile has a top speed of mark 3 whenever we are speaking of missiles or fighter aircraft their speed is often denoted in mark mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 but what exactly is this mark number to understand mark number first we must know the speed of sound the speed of sound is different in different mediums but in the air around us It is approximately 343 meters per second which comes out to 1235 kilometers per hour. If something is traveling at a speed equal to the speed of sound, then we can say that this object is traveling at Mach 1. Likewise, if something is traveling at twice the speed of sound, then we can say that this object is traveling at Mach 2. As you can see, the Brahmos missile has a distinctive launch sequence. Something it shares with the P800 Onyx missile which inspired the Brahmos's design. The launch sequence looks something like this. After the initial lift off, the rockets in the missile's nose cone then turn the missile 90 degrees until it is almost parallel to the surface. After this, the solid rocket booster ignites and the missile begins its journey towards its target. After the initial reorienting maneuver, the nose cone is no longer needed and so it is detached. After the missile attains a speed of Mach 2, the solid rocket booster is also detached and the rest of the work is done by the ramjet. I'll make a detailed video on how the ramjet works in the future so please make sure you're subscribed. Due to the curvature of the earth, it is quite difficult to track the Brahmos missile if it's coming in from a low altitude. So by the time the enemy sees it coming, it may already be too late. If you like this content please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video.